still a beautiful morning here out west at Margaret River. You're watching the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro, the second stop of the World Surf League Championship Tour. Round two, Heat 8 sees Connor Coffin from California in the United States, taking on Ethan Ewing from Stradbrook Island. And Australia, a rookie on tour. But yeah, we've got plenty of time to catch waves, Joe. I'm sure uh, there's plenty of uh, surf on offer. Watching this one now with Connor Coffin from Santa Barbara, California, setting up that rail. Hooks it off the top, setting up the second turn now with some speed. Turns into a little setup move. And now a big layback attacking the end section. He's able to ride free from those two sections colliding. It's been a tough feat today. Connor solid with the finish. Here comes Ewing. He's trying to force that snap in a challenging, bumpy section. He's out of there. So Connor looking a bit more solid on the opening exchange. You know, his surfing is completely irrelevant on tour, and it, as you said, it's what goes on between the ears that's important right now. Learned a lot and had great success, and Connor came close to stealing the Rookie of the Year honor off of Kaio and Pelly. It was a very close decision on a wave of backdoor. It's such a solid... Just solid on his feet. I like this test, taking his time, finds that section, now it produces itself, and that just that big wrapping turn on his way to a good score. So he's going to try and finish this one off through the inside. This is what I like about the wave. This is where the big score came from. Just gouging into the face of the wave and then trying to just ditch out underneath that uh, section that literally has been taking surfers down all morning. Connor, beautiful bottom turn into that front side hook. So that's his trademark stuff. And Joe, this is the turn where all the points came from. Look at that, just total commitment from Connor Coffin. Kind of thought he'd sort of blown it there, but managed to regather strength and you can see just sneaking out of the bottom of that one so perfect timing on that turn the judges loved it joe and a good score to start off with what a satisfying maneuver for connor coffin that he can count on he'll do different versions of the layback finish but in a very tricky section here at margaret river now 417 needs a 317 to take the lead connor on a bomb beautiful conditions he's loving it using the layback snap under the hood out in front, starts the rail turn early, and he's able to stay on his feet. Great rhythm and timing here at the main break from the Californian. I like it, you know, second priority. Waves are coming through, we saw Kersey. Connor fired up on this one, Pops. Yeah, um, just a beautiful opening turn right in the guts of the wave. Not a long wave, and we've, we've seen Joel, Joel Parkinson got a big score for two solid turns. So it's not all about how many turns you do on the wave, it's the quality of the ones that you do. Good solid double overhead wave and just jams it in the pocket. There's that variety of maneuvers right there, showing something different and then just holding the rail all the way through, making sure he finished on his feet. So good stuff right there for Connor Coffin. And just with the hair whip on the inside as he is feeding off this energy. 56 seconds to get back into position. And now he's gonna enjoy listening to a 7.17. He's gonna, he's gonna hear that you're in a combo situation, needing, we'll get back to it. Connor, just rolling in underneath priority, just up and out. You can still tell he's excited to take on the main break. Mobile and looser, and I was just like, oh, thank God. Um, yeah, I could get that out, because at one stage I thought I was having it in forever, and it felt really stiff, and I just constantly so sore, and um, I just kept telling myself it was good, but it wasn't, and then, um, looks like forecast is going to be mental. Hopefully we can fit a little box in. Yeah, it's got some magic. You said you surfed the box this morning. How was that? Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, kind of south, um, a little bit crumbly on the end peak, but I think compared to the past years or two years ago when they ran it, it was a lot buttery and easier than that year. But uh, Margie's is firing too, so, you know, it's not a bad problem to have to have good waves everywhere. <laughs> the first time in his career catching up to this replay oh. just like Seabass said so many similarities to Andy Irons and Ethan style and he's back in the game here oh my gosh talk about being back in the game I mean he was in a gentle combo really seven uh, 14.51 a couple of sevens he's back in it but he's done a little bit better than that hasn't he Joe an 8.60 for Ethan Ewing so Ethan Ewing is um, back in the heat, only needing a 5.9. Judges are having a look at some replays. Ethan Ewing, though, 
just absolutely belted that wave. Watch this opening turn, Joe. Right there, just hooking into it. Look how powerful that is. 18 years of age and just surfing amazing. Once this kid dusts out the cobwebs and the nerves and, and starts to surf like the way he wants to, he's going to take some scalps, that's for sure. Well, I loved watching him surf at Snapper Rocks. Can he make Connor make a decision with priority here? Connor does take this wave. Coffin deep off the bottom. Nice solid start. We'll wrap the next section, keeping it solid on rail. Another fading cutback. He's hoping for a big end section to coil up off. Bangs it nice and solid off the roof. So Connor's main goal, hold off Ethan Ewing from that wave. A rookie's got to work on. You know, Connor just basically controlled that last part of the heat, and Ethan did not put the pressure on him to have to commit to that wave. And now we run out of time, and Ethan Ewing gets knocked out in round two, but throws down a huge number, an 8.6.